Okay, everyone, we have time for just one more question. Okay, you, sir. Yeah, I think what we're building here at Borussia is amazing. You know, we have created one of the best defenses in the in the league. No, in the world. You know, we haven't conceded a single goal yet, which is absolutely incredible this season. Uh, it just shows that how much work I'm putting in and uh, just the players, they just follow what I'm doing and I'm the genius here. Okay, fine. Okay, uh, we haven't conceded a single goal since the Bayern game. Um, I'm... Sorry, we conceded. Okay, that game doesn't count, okay? It was against Ingolstadt, and uh, it was the cup, and uh, anyways, I wasn't paying attention. I was on my phone. But we haven't conceded a goal in the league. Yes, we haven't conceded a single goal in the league. <sighs> so, as I'm saying, we are the best. And somebody kick him out, please. We are the best team here. I have created amazing tactics, so everyone should say that I'm good. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Hi guys, Mr. Space reporting for duty. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I hope you're excited for another Bundesliga game for us. And actually, you know what? For another two Bundesliga games because, well, I told you I was going to take on RB Leipzig and we are. We're not changing that. But the next game I told you was going to be the City game. In fact, I'm not going to do that because City have made our progress much easier. We already qualify from the group. I think they have drawn two matches, one against us, one against Dinamo Zagreb, and that helped us greatly. So, hey, there we go. We have made it out the group, and uh, I guess now it doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to be doing today instead is obviously play Leipzig. And as a small team, uh, Bayern Munich, you know, it's a... They're second in the league as of now, and uh, they're not as good as us, but hopefully that will be enough to entertain you. But... Like I mentioned in my little intro, and uh, pardon me for being, you know, super blasé about it and just super, oh, look at me, I'm the best, but I am the best manager in the league. I have conceded about zero goals. Very round number, very easy to remember, absolutely incredible. The tactic that we're running right now obviously has been tweaked. We have been messing around with the tactic a little bit, but we're doing quite well. And yes, I have conceded a few goals, okay? This was just for entertainment purposes, you know, we remember this game. Everyone remembers this game, Okay. Not talking about it. But since then, we have it literally in the league. Not a single goal conceded. First time we conceded a goal was against, funnily enough, English studs, who for some reason put up a massive fight. 2-2, we beat them on penalties. And once again, I'm rushing ahead of everything. And uh, let's go back to where we last saw you guys. Well, last we saw you was against City. A very boring game, 0-0. You didn't get to see much. But we bounced back very well. 4-0 against Union Berlin. And uh, Erling Haaland scored. This kid has been scoring a lot, a lot of hat-tricks, and uh, hopefully one day he can sign a contract extension, but uh, he thinks we're not good enough yet. I guess we need to win some trophies, but, you know, we are in the process of doing that. Borussia Mönchengladbach, 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, they did well, we did well. It was kind of a... We missed the penalty as well. Not the most interesting game. 1-0 against Atlanta. Samuel Jigo, who, by the way, is one of the best signings I think I have done. Well, not not this season. This season, obviously, <laughs> is the one of the only signings. But I think he has revolutionized our defense. If you look at his rating, 7.56 rating. That is insane. For a player that plays in the Russian Premier League, goes into Borussia Dortmund, plays some big games, and he's absolutely incredible. He's a good, good player. Absolutely amazing. Love him. I rate him so much. And he wants... What? Concerns? No idea what that's about. Okay, but what else can I mention? Uh, Augsburg, 6-0. Again, we continue our great scoring form. Haaland with three goals, like I said, hat-trick. Bellingham, Zaharian, and Mukoko scoring. So we are rotating the squad a little bit as well. So it's not just the best guys all the time. Uh, we are destroying people in the, in the, what's it called, the Champions League. Three goals from Giovanni Reina, one from the Hood. We destroyed Dynamo Zagreb. And, um, you know, as you can see, Van der Voet is playing some good stuff here. Ansgar Knauf is uh, finally learn how to play a complete wingback, which is absolutely incredible. Decent player. I rate him a lot. He's going to be in that position quite often. After that, Armenia, Byfield, 5-0. Haaland, once again, hat-trick. Man, this kid's just absolutely good. Royce and Malin scoring. A very important game. Against Köln, Haaland, hat-trick again. And missed the penalty, but then he scored the, the rebound, which was impressive. And finally, Dynamo Zagreb, 5-1. This time... Holland got subbed off because he got injured and he's not going to be here for three, four weeks, which is incredible. 
But yeah, Marlon stepped up, Mukoko stepped up, and Wagnerman stepped up. But now talking about the tactic, let me just do this real quick. This is what we're running with. And this tactic is kind of working well for me. It was kind of inspired by the Chelsea tactic. And I tried to make it work and I tried to make uh, this guy run up the field like that. But I noticed that the, the way these two guys interact is weird. I feel like this guy cannot overlap with this guy because this, this guy's messed just all the way up there. He's all the way up there running, doing whatever he wants. So this is why we're playing an inverted wing back. And it's funny because both our right backs are right foot only. So they're going to run in there. And apart from that, what else did we change? I think we've changed something in the tactics. We're going to play this guy as an advanced forward because, you know, he's not a target forward. But I think we've also changed some things. So we're now working ball into the box. We are going at a higher tempo because I want to move the ball very fast up the pitch. It's very important for us. Nothing changed here. And I think in terms of out of possession, we just forced people outside and we pushed very high up. So this is our tactic. This is how we play. This is how we're going to play against RB Leipzig and potentially against Bayern Munich unless something happens. So we are doing two games. I hope you're excited. <sighs> Let's go. What are the chances that today we're going to concede our first goal? I think quite high. Uh, Leipzig has a great team, you know, even though they lost a lot of good players. They still have <sighs> Zbolozai. They have Tim Leibold. Hey, remember him from my uh, Hamburg Hamburger days? Andrew Silva, who's amazing. Emil Forsberg, Kevin Campbell. Great players. Yusuf Poulsen's on the bench. Mariba's not playing. What the heck are you guys doing? Very crazy. Man, whoever's in charge of Jesse March, it's no longer Nagelsmann. That is going to be weird as heck to see. But we want to not concede because we are currently just slightly first, which is absolutely incredible. We have done good things. This tactic kind of works. I'm really happy with what we've done. Uh, this is how they're playing. They're playing kind of trying to match us up a little bit, but a, a lot of players in the wing, which is going to be something that we're going to have to deal with. But our plays with Royce, Reyna, Dahoud and Bellingham, I think they have quite enough movement between them and look at the table we are exactly on the same points as Bayern Munich and we have conceded three goals less and we scored actually quite a bit more which is good hopefully today is going to be a good day again let's go okay literally nothing's happening uh we should play cl uh, press Klosterman sure we should Guerrero create something Royce makes a run down the flank we are messing around with player instructions as well so we have uh Reyna floating a bit more as the ball goes over to Andrusilla. Hummus is not going to catch up. That's a shot from far. But as I'm saying, uh, Reyna has got the role to kind of go wider now. Like I said, I'm trying to play the Chelsea tactic. And uh, Royce is kind of the floaty guy in the midfield. And apart from that, I think I'm missing something. I will go into the player instructions if you guys want to for the next episode. And you know, if I don't change my tactic. But there we go. Half time. Wow. Boring, boring, boring. Guerrero's having a crap game. I may be time to sub him off potentially for Wagnerman. But yeah, uh, we literally didn't create anything. Great. Um, maybe we need to push up our players. I'm not sure yet. Let's take Guerrero off, put Wagnerman on. Uh, everyone's having a crap game. Um, Daniel Malin is not doing too hot either. Maybe I need to switch him around uh, with Mukoko. Go back to target forward. But apart from that, we're trying to work ball into the box. Maybe we go a bit slower, trying to get some possession. But yeah, second half. Let's go. Okay, time for some more subs. Literally nothing is happening and I don't like that. I'm going to take Malin off. Uh, put Mukoko up here. I'm going to drop Malin a bit lower. Something like this. Just because he does good job. I mean, he's tired though. Can I do something? I can put Brandt in there. Let's put Brandt in there. Maybe take Marco Royce out as well. I think that makes the most sense. We have we have space for one more sub. Wagnerman's not having a good game either. And get the hood on. Put Emerchan on. Switch those two guys around. No, actually, keep him this way. And that's our five tactics, uh, five subs. Maybe that's going to do anything. I don't know. But a 0-0 against Leipzig would be good because they Bayern Munich dropped points against Leipzig as well. But if we can beat them, this will be incredible. Uh, oh, there we go. They're one man down. Mori, we have a chance. Angelino stops us and he came off the bench. Cross in. Mukoko. Mukoko, let's go. Man, come on. Let's go. This is incredible. Like, Tactical sub, and I was right. I am the best manager in the freaking world. Woo! Uh, I'm going to lose against Bayern like 6-0, ain't I? I mean, I'm not showing you guys that I'm creating much, but again, this tactic does quite well against uh, weaker teams or equal teams. Mm, not equal teams. Leipzig is equal team. But against equal teams, it kind of does a bit weird stuff. I'm still learning how to play with the wide center backs and uh, in a more attacking formation. I don't know why it doesn't work. Three at the back for me doesn't work super attackingly. But it is very good in defense, and I'm not parking the bus. I don't know. I don't know. Emerchan, going out wide. Going out very wide. That's a cross and a half. Okay, Brandt. Move the mouse out of the way. Brandt, Mori. It's your chance, buddy. Reiner. 
you get two goals. You know, you came here for the goals. You stay here for my entertainment. I don't know. You came here for no goals conceded. That's what you came for. Let's go. We are 2 0 up. We're beating uh, Leipzig, and it will take something crazy for us to lose this now. Not the most exciting game. We haven't completely dominated them, but there we go. We have beat Leipzig, and that means we retain our position in the first place, which is incredible. But I have to play a lot of games now, and I uh, will see you guys for the Bayern Munich game. So, almost a month has passed since we last saw you guys, and uh, as you remember, we beat Leipzig because it happened like two minutes ago, well, less than a minute ago. For, for me, it happened in uh, hours. Hours, man, so long, so long. <sighs> there, so this game was good. 4-0 against Stuttgart. Marco Royce's 225th appearance gave him a hat-trick, which is important. Reiner scored a goal as well. And against City, they scored uh, everything. They have completely outplayed us. We got absolutely wrecked. And uh, we are no longer first in our group. <laughs> so we hope that um, Dinamo Zagreb can stop them once again. Because their only point came from a game against City. So, uh, yep. Um, you know, life happens. But today, we're taking on Bayern Munich. And the reason why I'm not mentioning Wolfsburg is because they parked the bus for about the second half. Boring. But for today's game... Oh my goodness, the tactic has changed. Ugh, give me a second. There we go. Welcome to this monstrosity. Welcome to what I can actually describe as a fighter jet. Let's do it like this so it looks like a fighter jet. Come on. There we go, fighter jet. Woohoo! Another one of my fighter jet tactics. This time it's going to be much more defensive, more defensive than attacking. There we go. Imagine it's a fighter jet. Cool. But yeah, so this is what we're going to do. Hopefully we can take them on the counter. You know, we have two people here. Maybe we'll actually set these guys as Mazalas so that way they can kind of move the ball out into the flanks so that's potentially the area we want to focus on hit this guys here cross in hopefully Haaland and Royce can do something but we have Kobelin goal Zagadu Hummels and Jigo as always we have the hood on the, in the middle it's going to be the deep lying playmaker um, actually I'm going to change my mind and do something like this change my mind Emre Chan's going to be here Reina and Bellingham Guerrero is going to be on the left Wagnerman's going to be in the right Royce and Haaland up front hopefully it works if it doesn't well you're going to see how horrible it is right Let's jump into this game. We're going to find out how they line up after how we line up. Because, I mean, we already know how we line up. It's, there's nothing crazy there. But this is their lineup. They're going to go with Davies, Upamecano, Nyanzu, Kimmich, Sabitzer, Goretzka, Musiala, Sané, Nabre, and Lewandowski. Very much normal, I think. Oh, yeah, they have, they've sold um, Sule. They have sold Sule. I forgot about that. So maybe something's going to happen there. We are currently first and still tied with them by goal difference, which is good. So hopefully this game could be good. Please, please don't mess up. Maybe we're going to have to switch to more attacking tactic. I don't know. We have a free kick and I still haven't finished. And to be fair, last time against United, United against City, we scored first. Unfortunately, nothing paid off and that's a good shot. Unlucky for Guerrero. So we just got to be careful this time. I know you know, we, we're playing at home and I'm playing very safe and I'm not really known for playing safe. And uh, you can kind of tell about the 4-1 win against, well, loss against City. So maybe I'm trying to be smart this time. Let's see what happens. Guerrero has another chance. Guerrero puts a cross in. Jigo, Jigo jumps up and Jigo, Samuel Jigo, my favorite center back in the whole damn world. If you haven't bought him, sign him up, especially in the first season. He's going for like, what, 4 million up to four, between 4 and 7 million. This kid is good and I may actually make a video about him. I I don't know. I, I Just just for memes. Why, why not? Make a video about him. I, please. Wow. 1-0. They have their own corner now as Kimmich steps up. Zagadu clears, Royce, can you pick it up? Royce is not quicker than Nabri, but he does pick the ball up, and Holland is going to run away. He has lots of pace, but he has no one to help him with. He's taking the ball out to the flank, and of course, Sabitzer is going to pick it up. Does Sabitzer actually know how to defend? That's not the first time he's done something like this. Davies, uh, we are kind of regrouping, which is good. Uh, Nabri, everyone's back behind the ball, which is very, very important for us. I, I swear to God, there's a I can see the ball there. Nabri, oh my God, Wagnerman, where are you going? Nabri, stop him, stop Nabri. Puts a cross in. Hummels clears and that's a big hit and Haaland can challenge. He does not. Davies. Ball over the top. Lewandowski beats the offside trap. And uh, did Kobel just refuse to go out for the ball? That was the most dumbest way to concede a goal. Random hit up front by uh, Opamincano. Davies sends it and uh, everyone is sleeping on Lewandowski. You can't sleep on Lewandowski. Yeah, he's not super quick, but he's super clinical. Damn it. Back to 1-1. Half time. Uh, we maybe want more of the same. I'm potentially thinking of taking off Royce because Royce is not that quick. 
maybe bring some like Malin on. I, I don't know, that could be a good shot, but Wagnerman is not having the best of games. Maybe I should put him on a bit of a support function as well. Like there's kind of no point for him to be there. We're completely using a lot of our midfield. We're just packing it as much as we can. Hopefully the second half is going to be a bit better. I mean, I don't think there's anything I can change now for now. So I think it's okay. I think it's time for some subs. It's the 60th minute. Nothing has happened. Literally nothing interesting is happening here. Royce is going to be replaced by Malin. We're going to kind of spread them like this. Um, anything else that's kind of interesting? Emre Chan is not having the best of games, but that's fine. Maybe potentially we'll let uh, Reyna kind of roam into this position a little bit. So they can interact together with Malin. Maybe that will do something as Kimmich has the ball. Uh, Sané, Bellingham fouls him, nope, Bellingham tries to get the ball away again, no he doesn't, Sané puts a cross in, Lewandowski jumps, does not win it, Bellingham does get to the ball this time, Guerrero smashes it forward, Haaland can receive it, which is good, this is why we have a big boy in Haaland, ball comes in, Reina, Reina, 1-1 on with the keeper, mm, not 1-1 on with the keeper, he's taken an extra touch, that was an extra touch, as Royce! Let's go! Come on! Woohoo! Yes, boys! Where did that come from? Woo! That was an unexpected uh, counterattack. Let's bloody go. Is this the tactic we're going to use? Long balls, smash the ball forward, potentially have Reyna as a more attacking Mazala. Let's go! Do I want to continue with the tactical changes? Yeah, I think so. I, I think so. It was a good choice. I'm going to praise the boys. I think I'm going to make a few subs. Uh, put Mori on. Uh, Wagnerman's not having the best of games. Uh, Guerrero will be fine. Bellingham is kind of running out of steam. So maybe we get uh, Brunt to come on. Holland is not having a great game either. So I'm going to have Mukoko play in that position. Just to give him a little bit of legs. And apart from that, everything's fine. Malin plays it to Holland. Yeah, that's the useless highlight. So I'll just skip that. I just noticed how bad Hummels is playing. 6.1. And uh, if we can see the next goal, it will be because of Hummels. And um, I can already predict the future because I um, I can read numbers and that's impressive. You know, it's good. Kusans. I should have subbed him off before this attack. Kusans, come on. Goretzka, the ball comes out. Kimmich, is he going to line up a shot? No, he doesn't. Goretzka, there's lots of people in the box. We should be able to block a shot. Kimmich blows through everyone. Come on. Misses the header. Oh my goodness. And a stamp take Hummels off. Is there anyone I can do? Pogaric and drop him to be a cover option and the reason why I don't play cover option for Hummels is apparently he sucks at it and also cover option requires pace while stopper doesn't. It could be a potentially a mistake. I don't see how cover has pace. Okay, Whew. now it's now or never. Now it's now or never. We've beaten Bayern Munich and tactical genius, whatever the hell this is. This is a very defensive formation, but we have also, I just realized, we have finally conceded a goal. There we go, the first goal we have conceded in the league is in fact against Bayern Munich, which is again something that we expected. Wow, we are still top, we have given ourselves a little bit of room to breathe, so now we are still ahead, now we're first, properly first. Let's go, Bayern Munich, absolutely incredible. Whew, Jigo, I love you, but I hope you guys are enjoying the save. I hope you guys are really enjoying the films. I'm having so much fun. Full Manager 22 is pretty neat. I like it. I like it a lot. Borussia Dortmund is amazing. Shame I have no money because I need better right back. And this is something we're going to talk about for the next episode, of course, because we're going to cover the transfer window stuff. But as of now, I'm thinking I may need another right back. I need a good right back this time. Everything else is fine. A right back and potentially a new world-class center back. That's the two things we're looking for. Everything else is absolutely spot on. Now, what does this mean? Well, obviously, I will see you back for... Um, let's do something like we did last time. I'm either going to see you guys for the Bayer Leverkusen game or the Borussia Mönchengladbach game. But of course, I'm also going to show you the transfer deadline day part two, which I hope you're excited. Smash the like button if you are enjoying the save. Smash the like button if you're enjoying Full Manager 22. Smash the like button if I'm absolutely crazy and uh, kind of managed to entertain you. Or if I'm just going crazy, still smash the like button. That like button must be smashed. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, I have not said the word smash the like button so many times. Just, you know, just to make sure I do say it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys. That was my mic. My mic's in the way. I kind of have to do it weirdly. Sorry.